Hello everybody, I'm Sam and welcome to Formula Pulse's preview of the Brazilian Grand Prix, or should I say Sao Paulo Grand Prix as it's confusingly called this year. Interlagos has seen it all in recent years, whether it's title deciders, cracking battles on tracks or backmarker collisions, it's really had it all. And now the circuit will play a crucial role in the 2021 title battle between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen's win in Mexico means he's now extended his championship lead over Lewis Hamilton for three rounds in a row, which puts him tantalising close to having a wins advantage in the points over the reigning champion. And this weekend there are even more points to play for due to the return of sprint qualifying on Saturday. So get involved in the comments and let me know what you expect from the Brazilian Grand Prix weekend. But now let's move on to having a look at the state of play up and down the field as well as what happened last time F1 visited Brazil in 2019. This weekend really feels like a must win race for Hamilton. He can't afford to let that 19 point lead become any bigger, and a win for Verstappen in sprint qualifying and the race would give the Dutchman at least eight more points over his rival, enough to take him over a win ahead in the championship standings. And because of that, I'd expect Mercedes to be super aggressive here to try and beat Red Bull, throwing caution to the wind on track and in terms of race strategy. Unfortunately for Mercedes, however, Red Bull are in really good form and are very much the favourites this weekend. Verstappen has won four of the last seven races, Hamilton has won just one. Verstappen also has good form at Interlagos, having won the race in 2019 and having been taken out of the lead whilst lapping Esteban Ocon in 2018. It's also another high altitude circuit which tends to suit the Honda engine, while the twisty infield plays to Red Bull's aero strengths as well. Which might leave you wondering if there is any hope for Mercedes, but I think it's not all doom and gloom and they might have a bit more hope this weekend than they did last time out in Mexico. The Interlagos circuit is not as high above sea level as the Mexico City race, meaning there are less concerns for Mercedes around cooling and Honda's engine advantage at high altitude shouldn't be as significant as it was in Mexico. Mercedes could also take some comfort from their front row lockout in Mexico. Bottas coped well with the rise in temperatures for qualifying and find the right balance on his setup for the temperamental soft tyres, while Red Bull struggled on the softest compound, looking stronger on the mediums and the hards. This is also a circuit which is a little more abrasive on tyres which could play to Mercedes' hands if there are various strategy options in the race. In the 2019 race there was a real mix of strategies with some people opting to stop once, some twice and some even three times. And while the twisty infield section certainly suits Red Bull, the long blast up the hill from Junsao to turn one should suit the Mercedes as they've had that straight line speed advantage recently. And finally the sprint qualifier this weekend could provide some opportunities for chaos at both race starts. So yes, Red Bull certainly are the overwhelming favourites this weekend, but I would expect it to be a little bit closer than we saw in Mexico where Verstappen really had a comfortable time out front. As well as the battle between the top two, there's plenty to fight for up and down the grid as well. Red Bull are now sitting just one point behind Mercedes in the Constructors' Championship, while Sergio Perez's run of three podiums has closed the gap to Valtteri Bottas in the fight for third in the Drivers' Championship. I mean, it's only third, but it does give those second drivers more to fight for. Perez arguably comes here on better form and in high spirits after his home race in Mexico. Bottas, on the other hand, has been a little bit hit and miss. His performance in Turkey was one of the best of his careers, but then in Austin he looked a little bit toothless working his way through the field and then after his amazing qualifying lap in Mexico it was all over at turn one when he was tagged by Daniel Ricciardo with the team and Lewis Hamilton giving him a little bit of criticism for backing out of the corner early and it looks like Mercedes want him to be a little bit more punchy in these final rounds especially in wheel to wheel combat with Verstappen. Ferrari have now taken the lead in their fight with McLaren for third place in the Constructors Championship. The Scuderia have a 13.5 point lead heading into Interlagos and they look firm favourites to finish third. However, they could have a fight on their hands again this weekend with Alpha Tauri, who looked to have the third fastest car last time out in Mexico. Pierre Gasly was one of the stars of the race, finishing a comfortable fourth, with neither Ferrari able to put in a sustained challenge against the Frenchman. With the Honda engine in the back and the chassis working well, expect Gasly to have another strong showing here in Brazil. And despite a disastrous weekend all round, Yuki Tsunoda looked quick in practice and qualifying, so I'd expect him to bounce back here and hopefully score score some points, especially after how disappointing the end to his Mexico race was and the criticism he received after qualifying. With Lando Norris having taken a grid penalty and starting at the back in Mexico, McLaren will desperately be hoping to pull something out of the bag this weekend. 
but Ferrari's engine upgrade seems to have done the trick and pulled them clear of their rivals. A strong result here from Alpha Tauri will see them climb above Alpine in the Constructors' Championship. The French team have been on a really bad run and they only have three points in their last three races, and they've looked slower than Aston Martin and Alfa Romeo, rather than capable of fighting the Alpha Tauris. It really is part of what makes this such an amazing season, that even with four races to go, there are so many battles to be settled up and down the order, and you can guarantee that we're going to see things change around multiple times between now and when the chequered flag falls in Abu Dhabi. And if the race this weekend is anything like the last time we were in Brazil, then we're in for a real cracker of an afternoon. Hamilton and Verstappen fought in a race-long duel that in hindsight actually really foreshadows what we've seen this season. Verstappen led early on, only to drop behind Hamilton later in the race when he was held up by the Williams of Robert Kubica in the pit lane. He then passed Hamilton with a dive down the inside into Turn 1, before a retirement for Valtteri Bottas brought out the safety car. Verstappen boxed for some fresh tyres whilst Hamilton stayed out, which handed the lead back to car number 44. The safety car came in, and Verstappen used his fresh tyres to good use by putting an amazing move on Hamilton down the outside into Turn 1, the two almost banging wheels before going side by side all the way down the back straight to turn four. The two Ferraris of Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel then had a coming together on the straight which brought out the safety car again and forced both of those cars to retire. This time Hamilton stopped for some fresh tyres for the sprint to the end whilst Verstappen stayed out. This also brought Hamilton behind Alex Albon which led to their collision which cost the tie driver his first ever podium. This all handed a shock second place to Pierre Gasly who had a drag race with Hamilton to the line and then third place ended up being Carlos Sainz in the McLaren after Hamilton Hamilton was handed a five second penalty after the race. So I think that even if we get half of that action again this year, we'll be in for a real treat. Interlagos is a circuit that often serves up exciting races, with the long main straight providing a good overtaking opportunity in the race. It's also a circuit where we've seen our fair share of wet races in the past, and the weather can always mix it up in Brazil at this time of year. And when you throw sprint qualifying into the mix as well, I'd expect this weekend to be far from straightforward for our championship challengers. But one thing is for sure, I think we're going to leave Brazil with a much clearer idea of which way the championship is going to go. If Hamilton and Mercedes can somehow pull out a result here, here, they'll be right back in contention for the next race in Qatar. But if Verstappen is in the type of form he showed in Mexico and the Red Bull is just as dominant as it was there, with Perez able to play a part in the strategy as well, there may not be anything Mercedes can do to stop them, and they might need to rely on some sprint race chaos, a sprinkling of rain or a strategy mishap from Red Bull to take points off of them this weekend. And just remember that Verstappen could well leave Brazil with over a win in points advantage over Hamilton. I'm really looking forward to this weekend and Brazil is one of my favourite races of the year. I'd love to get your thoughts in the comments. Is this going to be another win for Verstappen or is there any hope that Hamilton can claw back points this weekend? You can support Formula Pulse by giving this video a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching and let's bring on race day in Brazil.